the psychology of shooting a basketball. And the third part is the application of the skills of shooting a basketball. Let's get right into it. First of all, where does the ball sit? The psychology of shooting a basketball. And the third part is the application of the skills of shooting a basketball. Let's get right into it. First of all, where does the ball sit? What's the psychology of shooting a basketball? And the third part is the application of the skills of shooting a basketball. Let's get right into it. First of all, where does the ball sit? Just by turning my hand on the basketball, my elbow will go out. When your elbow is straight, your hand is going to be... A... Just by turning my hand on the basketball, my elbow will go out. When your elbow is straight, your hand is going to be... A... Just by turning my hand on the basketball, my elbow will go out. When your elbow is straight, your hand is going to be... A... Just by turning my hand on the basketball, my elbow will go out. When your elbow is straight, your hand is going to be... A... So when you shoot the basketball, you want it to be able to hang on the rim. If you do miss it, Make sure it hangs on the rim, because if it hangs on the rim, you're going to get some of your offensive players, your centers and your fours are going to rebound it and lay it back in, and they're going to like you for that. So be sure that when you shoot the basketball, that you shoot with enough arc on the basketball that it's going to hang the ball closely to the rim. So when you shoot the basketball, you want it to be able to hang on the rim. If you do miss it, Make sure it hangs on the rim, because if it hangs on the rim, you're going to get some of your offensive players, your centers and your fours are going to rebound it and lay it back in, and they're going to like you for that. So be sure that when you shoot the basketball, that you shoot with enough arc on the basketball that it's going to hang the ball closely to the rim. So when you shoot the basketball, you want it to be able to hang on the rim. If you do miss it, Make sure it hangs on the rim, because if it hangs on the rim, you're going to get some of your offensive players, your centers and your fours are going to rebound it and lay it back in, and they're going to like you for that. So be sure that when you shoot the basketball, that you shoot with enough arc on the basketball that it's going to hang the ball closely to the rim. The mechanics of shooting. Let me go over those again one more time for you. First of all is finger pad control. Secondly, Make sure that the hand is directly behind the ball. Thirdly, always have your elbow straight. Fourth, make sure that the left hand is there just to support the basketball. But don't hold it there real firm. Fifthly, wrist flex. The snapping of the wrist, which will give you backspin. Sixth, the gun barrel approach. Wherever you shoot the basketball, that's where the arm goes. Seven, the follow through freeze. Make sure that when you shoot it, that you freeze your arm for at least one second. Eight, the target should be the front of the rim. Nine, always develop the proper arc or proper arch when you shoot the basketball. Ten, learn to hang the ball close to the rim. The mechanics of shooting, let me go over those again one more time for you. First of all is finger pad control. Secondly, make sure that the hand is directly behind the ball. Thirdly, Always have your elbow straight. Fourth, make sure that the left hand is there just to support the basketball. But don't hold it there real firm. Fifthly, wrist flex. The snapping of the wrist, which will give you backspin. Sixth, the gun barrel approach. Wherever you shoot the basketball, that's where the arm goes. Seven, the follow through freeze. Make sure that when you shoot it, that you freeze your arm for at least one second. Eight, the target should be the front of the rim. Nine, always develop the proper arc or proper arch when you shoot the basketball. Ten, learn to hang the ball close to the rim. The mechanics of shooting, let me go over those again one more time for you. First of all is finger pad control. Secondly, make sure that the hand is directly behind the ball. Thirdly, always have your elbow straight. Fourth, 
Make sure that the left hand is there just to support the basketball, but don't hold it there real firm. Fifthly, wrist flex, the snapping of the wrist, which will give you backspin. Six, the gun barrel approach. Wherever you shoot the basketball, that's where the arm goes. Seven, the follow through freeze. Make sure that when you shoot it, that you freeze your arm for at least one second. Eight, the target should be the front of the rim. Nine, always develop the proper arc or proper arch when you shoot the basketball. 10, learn to hang the ball close to the rim. And that you're always in balance. Everything is And that you're always in balance. Everything is And that you're always in balance. Everything is One of the, the best shots that's ever been invented was invented by a guy, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He calls it his sky hook. He has scored over 35,000 points in the NBA and he's still shooting. One of the, the best shots that's ever been invented was invented by a guy, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He calls it his sky hook. He has scored over 35,000 points in the NBA and he's still shooting. One of the, the best shots that's ever been invented was invented by a guy, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He calls it his sky hook. He has scored over 35,000 points in the NBA and he's still shooting.